All right, we're back at it. Time to continue on. Um, right now, things are just kind of producing for me. Very happy with that. So I'm just, I'm gonna do these in order. I wanna get all of these done. I think they do all have uses. Even the jump pads, which I underestimated, to be honest. Um, they have quite a bit of use. Biomass is pretty well topped off. So I can aid constructing some of this stuff, but the slowest one is definitely going to be the um, iron rods, because they only produce at 15 per minute. And if I look here... Conveyor splitters coming up, so I'll be able to split that into two because of how it produces. If you missed the first series, I'll mention exactly what's going on here. This is producing at 15 per minute. It's also taking 15 iron ingots to produce at max capacity. So this stuff on the left is telling you essentially what you need to provide to optimally produce at this rate, 15 per minute. And if we look here, this produces 30 per minute. And actually this produces 60 per minute, which means I can split this into two different smelters and I can split these two smelters or I can split, split a smelter into two different constructors for iron rods if I want to. Um, same with what's going on over here with the iron plates. This is 20 per minute, but it requires 30 per minute. So this is actually already producing at an optimal rate. However, this is still double the speed that it needs to be. So uh, we can resolve that in the future if we want, or we just don't worry about it for now. I think I focused too much on the last game on... Oh my gosh, look at that. We're already done with that. Okay, we'll do field research next. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fix it encourages you to... So let's take a look at how much production I'm able to do here. comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, I'm at 70. I'm good, I think. Wait, what was my max at? 48. Yeah, I can I can do some splitting here. So, let's do a split here. Once again, I'm not going to organize this crazy strongly just because um, you know, it's going to go away at some point, probably pretty quickly. Let me go ahead and deconstruct all this and then rebuild it in a more meaningful way here. So in order to use this, I go logistics, I go splitter, and then I aim the rec side there. Make sure it can go in because we got a little bit off on the um, angle. Then I can run this one to here, and then I rebuild the one I had, uh, smelter, just like this. Iron ingot. Iron ingot, make sure they get powered. Wait, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now they're both producing iron ingots, and now I can create four constructors, so I'm gonna need some reinforced iron plates. I can at least get this one going again. Well, yeah, I'll fix it later, so. I can at least get this one going again with iron rods to make sure my iron rod production is still going. Bring this up here. And uh, iron rods are still going. Let's go make a couple of plates. Actually, I need like six reinforced iron plates, so we need some screws. There we go. Oh, iron plates. Uh, more! More! Oh, do I need just iron plates? Okay. No, I don't. What? Wait, yes, I do. Oh, oops, my bad. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Actually, let's do six screws. There we go. Grab these plates out of here. So I'm going to build three more constructors. 
Of course, I forgot to power this one, so it wasn't producing anything. So I'm going to split this one. No, that's not aiming towards the right one. There we go. I'm gonna split this one and then I'll produce I'll create two constructors here. Oh, I need more cable too. Like that. And that. Now the ore is going to two different spots. I need cables! Craft some cables. Freighter re-entry. Okay, so now I have two creating iron rods. And what I can do with this one is, why the heck not? Let's just have it producing uh, iron plates. Alright, so now I am using this resource fully effectively. 60 to 30 to 30 to 15 to 15, and then that one's staying 30. Beautiful. I can split this one. I got some space here. I don't really need to worry about that right at this moment. Um, Maybe have some other priorities. I'm not really sure. Do I have other priorities? Uh, let's go get the copper up there. I kind of want to just keep focusing on trying to push through these objectives. Um, try to get them all done. Uh, I would like to upgrade my limestone over to the normal. Upgrade the normal one. And then I also want to do the research to, with the power slug so I can maximize the efficacy of that one. That'll be a good next goal, I think. All right, so we're going to grab our, look at that, 305 right on the money there. I don't want to build too many excess machines because I don't want to have to deal with the power supply stuff right now. So that's one reason why I'm not, I'm just trying to balance things. I'm still trying to find that balance, and that's why I keep restarting. I'm just trying to figure out what's the balance here? What's the balance for getting through this stuff, you know, somewhat quickly because... The key is the faster you get through the objectives, the more technology unlocks. And, and the temptation is always like, okay, let's build crazy stuff. But then you go, oh man, I just upgraded everything. And now this isn't optimal anymore and I got to rebuild everything. So I'm going to focus this one on kind of building a little sloppier, not worrying about as much about building everything perfectly. Screws, I'm going to hand... Uh, do for now. I'm okay with that. It's a good way to waste time, I guess. I need 220 to finish this. Then just go grab a plate and I'm good. Or I can craft one since I'm already here. Okay, I got enough screws now. And now I have enough plates. There we go. Boom, let's go. We're crushing it this time on objectives. We already finished everything. Field research. I want to get a MAM built. MAM! Three more reinforced iron plates. No worries. We're building at a fast, fast pace here now. With two different dedicated machines going. Construct, automate, explore, and exploit. There we go. To advance fix its mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the Pioneer contract. Oh, by the way, I have, you know, I want to keep injecting stuff into here. 
Actually, this is kind of a cool idea until I get, you know, things working a little better. What I can do, let me throw this limestone in here. And then what I'm going to do is build a storage container because they're very cheap. Just build a storage container that spits out here. And then just going to make a splitter. Or, sorry, merger. Does that work? That works. And then I just do this. Ah! How about the side? Ah! <laughs> Ugly. Don't care. Just want to get it going. And now I can just, anytime I pick up limestone, I just throw the limestone in here. And it'll keep feeding it in to supplement and keep it at maximum or, you know, closer to maximum. Plates. I don't think I need these iron ingots anywhere. Let's just toss them. Or I can toss them in here. I don't know. I might run out of space here. I'm not sure. Uh, let's throw it away. Or, or, ingot, ingot, good. Okay. More screws. Three more plates for the ma'am. There we go. Build the ma'am. This thing returns, so let's track the next objective right here. Part assembly. We need a lot more cables. We need more everything, more screws. So a lot of iron rods. Oh man, I shouldn't have thrown out those uh, that those ingots, huh? <laughs> I'm just realizing I could have done some hand crafting here, but I'm okay because I can focus on other things aside from crafting. I can start focusing on research while I wait. I need to up the efficiency here, too. Okay, let's actually do that, maybe. How am I doing on power, by the way? 60 and 70. Ugh, I can only build two more machines before I have to throw more. All right, I'm going to build one more of these so I don't have to think about it. Every time you build one of these, though, you got to remember you are essentially increasing... Um, the amount of time you have to spend farming biomass, so that's the trade-off. Fortunately, I have a lot of biomass sitting here, so I'm okay. Um, I need some cable. Beautiful. Cable guy. All right. Uh, let's build one more. Yep, I know, I know. There we go. Okay, so what do I need to build up there? I need to build another smelter, maybe two more smelters. 
yeah, split into three smelters, and then I need two more, um, constructors as well. So I just need four iron plates and I'm good. I can build some foundations now if I want to. I might do that. It, it, even though I'm not concerned about it being super tidy, it might just be better for me to do that. So let's do that. So I... Let's start building it over here so I can leave the other one alone until I'm ready. Let's do like a two meter. I should, think should be fine. Zoop. So three constructors. This should be plenty of space. Three constructors, three smelters. Build two constructors for now. Copper wire, copper uh, wire. Oh, I need cable too. So whichever one is most convenient, probably this one is going to be the most convenient to add another one to. Whoops. Like this, there we go. Probably don't even need that much. Oh, so I do need one more constructor, I just realized, but I'll get that later. Um... So I'm going to destroy this, 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 and this. And we're going to build our third smelter. Oh, for, build our third constructor first. Oh my gosh. And then our third smelter. Hook it up. There we go. Dog's barking. Um, not our dog. Outside, actually. Uh, the dog we were dog-sitting is back home with her owners. She was great. She's a little barky, but really not too bad. She would quiet down as soon as you would say, hey, cut it out. She was fantastic. Definitely do that again. are hooked up. Now we just run this miner over to here. Is that right? Okay. 
Whatever, I will trust you. War is coming. All this is hooked up. Don't think there's going to be any issues. No. I need one more constructor. Wait, can I just build a crafting bench and make two more of those? Nope. I need reinforced plate for that too. Whoops. Okay, I need to build some more reinforced plate. Then I'll come back. Grab this limestone. Like a limestone cowboy. Ninety-six, nice. 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 Feel like I'm producing it at a good clip here. There we go. Eat some more limestone in there. Okay. Just gonna build some more cable while I'm here, and then the reinforced plate. these ones before they become a problem. There we go. Head back over. We got a merge up there. It's a terrifying sound for a very docile creature. Okay, so this one's going to make cables. And then we need to run them all together and then head down. So let's do that. Whoops. All right, let's create a merger. I'm just going to start building some storage containers over here. This will not be the permanent spot for them, but it'll work for now. Oh, that's too tight. What am I doing? Over more. That should work. Okay. So now all our copper stuff we don't have to think about anymore. I think maybe... Okay, let's see if we can complete this task now. I gotta craft some, hand craft some of those, unfortunately. Man, we need a lot of rods for this, don't we? So, 500 screws and then I think we're done. Oh, cable.
There's a lot to build, I'm thinking. Ugh, I need to slightly clean things up, but do I have enough space for building? No! Invalid conveyor belt shape. Come on, dude. There we go. It is a little windy and weird, but it'll get the job done. At least I'll have some screw, dedicated screw production now. So I can get some help here. Okay, so we got everything except the cable now. Let's see how cable's looking. Get a few from here. Ooh, 75. That's not bad. Nice. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve fix-it company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note, humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fixit cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Okay. Object clearing is next. That's a good, good goal. 
Yeah, screw production's okay. Let's do some research while I'm doing this. I need, I really want to do this slug stuff. I need a five alien protein. Oh my god! Well, that one's gonna take the a while. The researched belong to an organism now dubbed the fluffy-tailed hog. It has many characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidae family were it native to Earth. Hog remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. I will now assume you are an expert and judge your use of these technologies accordingly. Your enthusiasm for saving the day has been noted. Your attitude has also been noted. Okay, I need some wire for overclocking and then for scanning, I need wire as well. Okay. Come on, wire. I think that was enough wire. I'm not sure, though. Oh, so close on screws. Um, I also need to craft one of these into power shard. Let's do both. Hmm. Yeah, I need a, I need a few screws here. go now I can scan for slugs as well development completed power shards can now be inserted into all buildings to increase input and output speed okay I need a constructor and a possible. miner note power consumption of overclocked buildings increases exponentially power slugs extract latent energy from their surroundings to sustain themselves oh my gosh i need one more scanner to the particular <sighs> potential energy signal i don't want to keep that in a build biomass burners but you got to i'm going to end up making the biomass generator but for now i'm okay i can just do this Okay, so I want to build, yeah, one constructor, one miner, two constructors, one miner. I'm going to use this for, to optimize my concrete production, and this should be 100% optimal, actually. Like, I shouldn't ever need to touch concrete again, other than routing it wherever I need to route it. This should be plenty of concrete for the entire game. Just a single normal vine or normal mine optimized with a blue power shard. It'll have two different constructors going at full volume. What am I doing? Okay. Need four plates. I'll create some extra. It's like, why not create some extra while you're here? That's what we're here for, right? Oh, let me do the schloopy thing. Get it out of the inventory. Shloop, shloop it oop. And Caterium as well. 
Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from okay. pockets of space Perfect. with complete disregard for the rules of the space-time continuum and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy... Let the energies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Cancel. Similarities to the hypothetical Scary. force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. The metal has been named Caterium after Fixit's greatest CEO, Katerina Parks. It has been added as a viable alternative to gold in industrial applications, specifically in advanced electronics due to its superconductivity, malleability, and corrosion resistance. Clearing this one off. I forgot to run wires this way. What a knucklehead. What am I doing? I need wires. Complication from the wire testimony was thin. Mr. Fantastic, hot flow like molasses. Thin glocks that are made out of plastic. Something, something, something. Okay. split into two constructors whoops Okay, so this is how, what we're doing. We need 45 limestone per minute to maximize this, to maximize getting 15 concrete from each of these. So for both of these, we need 90. Now this produces 60 per minute. So if I put this in here and then overcharge this, 
Now it's producing 90 per minute, and now both of these are maxed out because they're both getting 45 each. So the limestone will never go up, but it also never run out, which is awesome. Thanks for telling me it's awesome because uh, I didn't know otherwise. Start running it back. Maybe I approach from over here just to keep that space open a little bit more than what I do. Do I have the uh, stackers yet? No, I don't. So I'll just come here, turn like that. Build another storage container. Maybe on this side. I could probably do this, actually. Uh, I don't have a good setup for storage containers. I placed it wrong. That's okay. Oh, I aim this backwards, too. I do that a lot. There we go. All right, so full concrete should be coming in soon. I need to convert one of these over to copper sheets. Did I get the copper sheet production yet? I think I just did, right? Okay, so we're going to change one of the wires to copper sheets. Wires are pretty important right now, but so are copper sheets. I need to close my browser with my email because it keeps pinging you guys. <laughs> so we're going to change this one to produce copper sheets instead. Oh, by the way, these are requesting 20, 15, and 15. So with 60 coming through, we're fine, actually, on production. None of these are going to be slowed down. They're all producing at maximum volume. Okay, let's see how close we are now. Oh, my gosh. Make sure we're grabbing our stuff. Ooh, this one maxed out. I need storage for iron now. That one's close. That one's close. And this one is not maxed out. Yet. Oh, it is. Eww. Just barely, though. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, and the screws. Okay. Let's see if this dedicated screw production is helping. Yeah, we maxed that one out. Awesome. I should be good then. Let's go. All right, we need rotors for jump pads. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. 
Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Um, I would like to... So I want to create ded a dedicated rotor farm, because I think rotors are just that important. But I want to... What do I want to do? Use your words, Dan. Uh, I want to build the chainsaw first. So, chainsaw... Requires... We're close, just screws. A few more screws and we're good on the chainsaw. Help out the machine. And for the production of rotors, we need... It's... In order to optimally do it for a single machine, it'd be it's two and a half outputs of screws and two outputs of uh, iron rods. Now, if I go to one of these impure ones, I can't split it. I have to use two smelters, two miners. Two smelters, two miners, which means I get four, which means I can do two and two. Unless I up the production of one of them. If I up the production of one of them by 50%, would that help? I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe I need a three-vayner instead of a two-vayner. Sounds gross. Ugh. I don't know why that bothers me that way that's worded. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we got this. Now we got to create some solid biomass, and we will be good. Uh, I'm lost in the sauce. But I think before I move on, I need to get storage containers, because I am not going to be as dedicated to watching these things, so... Throw some limestone in here. There we go. Beautiful. Wow, that came back quickly, didn't it? Okay, biomass, solid biomass. This is slow. This is so slow. You know what? I have an idea. We no longer need your services. We are no longer in need of your services. Oh no, wait. Solid biofuel. Of course, I can make two more constructors in the future and deal with it, but actually, as far as pacing, handcrafting this fuel is not bad at all, but handcrafting the solid is kind of terrible, so 
I'll let it do its thing. Like that. Look at that. It's already 28. I mean, it's so much faster. So I'll come back to that. And let's go ahead and swap this stuff out here. On all of these. Like that. Now I can throw this biofuel in here as well. Whoops. Okay. Just like that. I can start chopping some trees down if I want. Um, I wanted to build storage for all this stuff. Maybe I'll re reroute storage over to here, because I kind of put it in a ridiculous place, I'm realizing. But I can just do this for now and then come back. Let's go two meter. I actually really like these two meter foundations, as long as the ground is flat enough. Seems to work quite well. There we go. Just go ahead and throw some storage containers down, like four of them. That doesn't look lined up. What the heck? Why doesn't that look lined up? That looked terrible. Is it really lined up there? I guess it is. I don't know. Okay, I guess it's all lined up. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do six, actually. Because I got an idea. Oh, well, it's not going to work yet. But once I get the stacking ones, it'll uh, be a little nice. It'll look a little nice. Um, there we go. Not ramp. Okay. All right. Go. So now those are the plates together, the the rods together, the plates together. Now I need the screws. Oh, they might be close to full. They fill up so fast. Nope, not quite.
That's not bad. Let's do that. Because the way I pointed this was actually wrong, but it's actually right. <laughs> so cool. Okay. So all these are routing correctly now. Um, let me reroute these. That'll be how I finish this one. I'm going to reroute this stuff as well. And then we'll call it good today. Can I put it up here? No? Okay, well. Nice. Wait, what? Why would the power grid fail? Am I over again? How am I over? Or did I forget to load one of them up? That sucks. What's going on? Oh, they all ran out of fuel because I didn't come over here and do this. And after this thing filled up. Okay, there we go. All right, split it into four. Whoops, that's about 50 each. Okay, I'm going to need to spend a little bit of time gathering stuff as well. Let me finish routing routing this like I was doing. Okay. Uh, actually, before this, though, I actually want to split this into three. Even though it's not organized at all, I'm okay with that. So let me put this in the middle. I'm going to put a splitter right here in the middle. I just don't want it to fill up. So by putting a splitter, I'm just you know, giving myself three times as long before I have to worry about it filling up. All right, there we go. So now... We got all of our copper stuff coming. We got all our concrete at an optimal rate. We got all of our plates, screws. Yeah, everything except the assembled stuff at this point, right? Let me go cut a few trees. We're at 59 minutes, so I'm just gonna spend maybe three or four minutes just loading more biofuel in. I feel like at the start of the next one, I might have to um, maybe, I don't know, start working on the first biomass farm I don't know I mean I just feel like is it worth it I kind of feel like it is because it's gonna take a while to get to coal right but yeah I think it's worth it you know I can get 18 and that should hold me over 27 if I really want to go crazy I can do a 27 biomass that, that's probably cool I actually like the 27 a lot it's just you have to make sure you maintain it Cutting down some trees. It's in area mode right now, which means if there's like other leaves or whatever. So for example, if I cut this, the leaves to the right should also, all the leaves around it also got picked up, which is nice. Okay, let me get to a thousand or so leaves.
Oh, shoot. Well, okay, well, that's it. <laughs> I need to get some more of that stuff, more fuel. But I'll pick up all the leaves on the way back. And I might get close to a thousand. And then I'll, that'll be it for this one. Uh, we're right at that one hour mark where I want to be. So I'm pretty happy. Happy with the progress. Happy I'm not... I think I'm doing this in a, at a good pace, like balancing things. Getting stuff routed, but not, you know, dedicating too much time to routing where it's slowing things down and then having to just reroute later. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So just creating the simple structure for now and then later we'll focus on the other stuff. I need to craft all this into... Let me put a crafting bench here so that I don't have to worry about, you know, running and coming back. go just throw the biomass in here come over here grab this out build another storage container because why not just in case so i don't have to worry about checking on it it'll just throw all the solids in there and then we will divide this up into five well actually i can't do that four okay whatever Never mind, I'll just do 23, well, I actually have five generators, whoops. So I do need some more for the last two. There we go. All right. I am now going to call it done. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I think we're set up well for the next one. See you next time. Bye.